hello everyone and welcome here today's video is very important and it is especially for the student who are preparing for nmdk 2024 although there are different courses included in this test but in this video we will be talking about english portion only uh, before going to start our discussion there are certain things that need to be considered most of the student like more than 90% student, they are of the opinion and even they give importance to the other subjects like biochemistry and physics. And they are mostly spending time to, to, to clear their concept, to uh, study these subjects in detail. What they actually do is they completely neglect and they do not consider English as important as the other subject. But this is completely wrong if you want to have a good score to get good score in this test you have to give importance you have to consider english as important as the other subject because almost all the student they they probably get good score in the uh, in bio physics and chemistry but your competition and what makes you different from others and what actually helps you to get more score is this english portion so you have to consider this and you have to study uh, this english part as well right so uh, basically the english portion it includes 18 to 20 mcqs probably 20 percent of the test and these mcqs are divided into different uh, types of mcqs and these mcqs are taken from different areas of english grammar but uh, it should be considered this 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 thing need to be clear that english grammar basically uh, it's a it's a very a wide area a very a very wide subject so uh, the basics are basically uh, covered the basics are basically given in this test mcqs that are probably given from the sentence completion part what basically sentence completion is so it's it's very simple sentences are given and obviously you will be given four options in those sentences lengths will be given as well so you are supposed to read the sentence and pick the correct option and put it in the blank this is how you you have to uh, like complete the sentence even that the very the very word indicates it that it's very simple but comprehension is important here like once you read the sentence you must be able to get the idea what the sentence is basically talking about right there are certain grammatical rules that might help you in order to spot the correct option but every blank every mcqs cannot be solved with uh, with grammar rules right the other part the other part from which probably mcqs might be given is spot the uh, error and it could be a uh, spot the correct the correct area of the sentence so it can be both both ways basically sentences are given and some words are being underlined and then you are asked to spot maybe the correct part of the sentence or maybe the incorrect part of the sentence so it depends on the statement that is given in the test before going to answer this this mcqs you have to read it you have to make your mind clear that whether the sentence is asking about to 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 find out the correct spot or to find out the incorrect spot then comes the vocabulary part which is very important and it is totally dependent upon an individual vocabulary bank the more you read the more vocabulary you would have and this is how it will help you to take up with this part well vocabulary basically mcqs are given from uh, from the synonyms antonyms and haponyms like you will be given a word and then again you will be given options for that word that which uh, word is the correct synonym of the given word or maybe correct antonym of the given word and it could be like the haponyms of the given word so again it depends on the statement that is given you have to read it whether the sentence is asking you about finding synonym antonym or haponym 
So this is how uh, the whole course is being divided. There are other areas that are also like MCQs can also be given from those areas such as types of noun, types of verbs and types of uh, adverbs. So while 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 studying these areas, you have to you have to see the other parts as well like these types different types and even tenses which is very important in english grammar other type of mcqs can also be given from the types of sentences which is very important even in the previous uh, previous year an mcqs was given from types of sentences a sentence was given and then the statement was like uh, which which type of sentence is it is it a simple compound complex or other way so uh, this is the whole course probably and uh, it is important just like the other subject and this this english part it can help you get more score as compared to the other